Three cities and a sea. <clears throat> Are you sure this is the right way, bro? Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. There's still plenty of fight in him yet. Here's your hide, as requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. cities and a sea.
Good girl. Run like the wind. Orcs. Then let us be rid of them. Free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. We're going to do this. We'll need help. Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago, but when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo, if you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed. Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. You will find a village in Cherdra's Thread, past Leitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it.
Come on. Nice place once. It will be again. I think that's the last of them. I think you're right. Let's head back. Is something the matter, Theodore? Quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? 
The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmechia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic, and they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now, and judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy, and I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery, and we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds, and she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Thea. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me, and I want to repay the favor by letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then. I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. You know what you have to do. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, and I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found, and it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lost Wing? everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children, the elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village, home only to the frail and the infirm, is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway, that they might live even should Lostwing die? I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. Come then, brother. We are awaited in Gotan's bales.
Everyone. Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid. None of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Oh, fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster! They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die! No. We can't let this happen. Sid! Don't worry about us, you've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? Uh, it's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. Ready, go. Run like the wind. We have nothing. Come on. Come on.
Clive. Look. No. Don't tell me we're too late. Quinton, are you all right? No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died. For nothing. This must be the guard dog. Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But... Your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. That is no real guard dog. No. It's a rabid beast that needs to be put down. Is it over? It is. He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear, just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans, building a haven in Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice, my faithful comrades, all those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieger you're safe. You, you're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I. I tried to warn you about that, that thing. And I hate to say it, but there's more bad news. It's Lost Wing. It's been flooded. What? Lost Wing. My Lost Wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! Quickly. 
to me, Fates! Stay down! <laughs> I need to find Quinton. Quinton. Quinton! Look at me! Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lostwing? The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinton. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But... I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't. So long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lostwing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why, just a village. We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? 
That's the Master Quinton we know. Please, I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. <laughs> 